Okay, everybody, welcome out to um, the um, Jade Baldwin Aroma. Uh, sorry, not Aroma Test. <laughs> been working on Aroma Test. This is a business training essential oils, and um, tonight's topic is uh, ten best business practices. Um, so we're actually going to get straight into it. I'm going to go ahead and, and share with you um, something that our oh sorry, not Should, yet? yeah. Let's let's ask people. Um, so go ahead and unmute yourself if you um, have some ideas, but what are some of the best practices that you have that you think is good to share? What are some of your best business practices when working in your doTERRA business? Some things that have worked for you. <laughs> I know some people are new, that's okay. Anybody? <laughs> hey, so I created, I don't know if y'all seen the Facebook page, but I have, I've put a lot of information on there and I've had a lot of friends and stuff um, communicating with me about it, okay. but I'm still very, very new. So I don't have any signups or anything yet. So that's great. You, you have a lot of people interested and Facebook is awesome. That's right. It's a really good way to keep mm -hmm. in touch with people. Mm -hmm. What about you, Desiree? So I created in the beginning like a group page. And so that was exciting because you could see like how many people were viewing your post. But I think that it's been much more effective and I've gotten um, more feedback from outside people using a page. Whereas that group is just exclusively for those people that are invited in it unless you make it open to the public. Mm -hmm. Um, but still you're not get generating like all those people that you could be getting and reaching out to using a page. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. I agree. Cool. Yep. Anything that's worked for you, Stacey? Um, I think just as we're in normal life, just telling people, um, things that we use. And just every day, it seems like things just come up and we say, oh, you could use this for that. Oh, yeah, we use that for Jaden or, you know, oh, we, we drink that all the time and it really helps us. People are surprised how often we're actually using things mm -hmm. and how simple things that you have in your home every day or just in life that it comes up and you just use it for like every like people have headaches all the time. People have stomach aches. People have an upset stomach or they're just car sick or can't focus or just all these things. Or they're just, you know, oh, I'm thirsty and I'm trying to detox. And I'm like, oh, we drink lemon in our water all the time. And it's so good. It's better than going to the restaurant and having them put lemons in it. It tastes way better. You know, you wouldn't believe it. Here, try some, you know, people just um, are like, really? I didn't know that. Or, Lots of people can't sleep, it seems, and we tell them what we do. And um, yeah, I just think sharing our life and what we do, people are like, oh, you do that? Okay. <laughs> they seem to, um, and then later, because they've heard me, I seem to see that they come back and ask me, well, what about this? Well, what about that? Oh, hey, I know you do this, but what about, do you have any oil that helps this? It seems like I start getting messages left and right once they know that I have oils, um, is there any oil that does this and that? So that has really overwhelmed me lately. Just the, the you know, um, messages and then, you know, answering them, but then telling them, um, you know, I'd like to have a class online or I'd like to have you over, but, you know, you live in another state or whatever. So if you'd like to just start getting some and then I can just guide you every month with what you might want to try next, you know? Awesome. Um, that's how I've been doing it, as well as like working on a website and a Facebook page. So. Awesome. Those are great ideas. Thank you for sharing. So we've been joined here by Lucy. Can yeah. you hear us and see us? Lucy? Uh-oh. You can't hear Lucy. Oh, no, Lucy She's is on. muted. She's I'm going to unmute you. Okay. Oh. Hi. <laughs> I just said my computer froze, and I just couldn't get this thing turned on. Oh, no. <laughs> computer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Good. good, good. We were just asking everybody about what their 
best business practices are? What are some things that you've done that have worked for you? Do, um, do you have anything you would like to add? Um, well, I think what's working for me at the moment is I just take every opportunity. When I have a parent coming, I've had such a bad night. Blah, 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 blah. I just say, do you know anything about essential oils? And I'm just, it's just opening doors every week now at the kindergarten. It's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. So you and Stacey was just saying that you are just kind of try to get that conversation going and yeah. add that to your conversation and be thinking about it all the time. Yeah. And, and not to expect things to happen too fast because you've got to, it's a gradual thing. And then if you can, if you've done that, all the preparation, you get those people together and have a class like we did last week and everyone joined <laughs> because they're prepared. They've had a, they've had a sample. Yeah. They're, they're expecting something. Yeah. Even though they came, oh, I was not going to buy anything today. And they walk out and they've got a whole kit. Yeah. <laughs> that's, it. that's it, meeting their needs. Then yeah, definitely. Like, yeah. I need it. Of course I'm going to get it. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. And just, you don't have to be pushy. It just, it's, yeah, I'm getting more confident and it's just more and more natural now. Some people go, up, oh, nah, nah, and they'll walk away and it's, okay, <laughs> that's all right. You're not lost. Now. That's what it is. It's not now. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, we'll share with you guys some of uh, what we think. Last week we, got, we had strategies and tips, and that was awesome. So those are the foundations, I think. But this is just the little things that we do that will make a difference. And um, if we have time, we'll go through the compensation with you guys because some of you are still new and it's really good to review. So we'll do that too tonight if we can. Yep. So let's share this screen, honey. Okay, so can you guys see that? Yep. Let's move everything in. Okay, so the first thing is to pack your bags. <laughs> I mean, it's simple, yeah. but sometimes people don't do it. So you don't have the right materials when we start talking about things and they, people ask you, what's, what's the terrazyme? And you're thinking you're trying to explain to people, but you don't have any pictures or you know, product catalog to show them. And then they'll say, well, how much is that? And you're thinking, um, I don't know, but they're great. <laughs> so it's hard to get to the sales if we don't have our bags packed. But having our bags packed also means that you are – putting faith into action you know you know that you're going to be using it you put it in the car when you're driving places you know you never know if you get into that conversation hey by the way you know, I will go to the car and get that for you and I'll show you what I mean um, I have just one if I'm going places where I know there's going to be a lot of people I'll have um, you know the uh, class in a box it has the first page which talks about what essential oils are and then it's got the price list, the kits, and then the enrollment forms. And you can just print that whole thing out. So go to doTERRA.com and just print out class in a box. And it's, I think it's a brochure. It says it's a brochure. You can buy it too. A class in a box already binded for you. But, you know, I have a set in my bag. So that's how come I was able to enroll people on the plane because they're not going anywhere. And when we're talking, I'm thinking, hey, I have something here. And, um, you know, because then you're ready. You're ready to have that conversation. Um, you know, we don't normally jump in and start teaching, but if you've talked to people like um, Lucy was saying, you know, if you fed them a little bit, if you've nourished them a bit here and there and there, and then when they're ready, you have stuff to show them and you are ready to sign them up. And there's some people that they trust you, they love you, if they're family or if they're being friends, that trust has already been established. So when they're, you know, when they're ready, they're ready. And if you're not ready, you just missed an opportunity, right? Yeah. So um, Ben's got our bag here. So <laughs> it's got, it um, has to say <laughs> do <laughs> No, it doesn't. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> so what do we have in here, honey? Um. Something to give, like if someone joins, um, Jade's always put together little um, gift packets. So it has a product guide. And you know, when people first join, they don't really know what um, products are out there. And so if you have either a product guide or this is actually a living magazine, you can, you can get, you know, the current living magazine or you can actually get um, past, ver past versions. Issues? Past issues of the living magazine for cheaper. 
And it basically becomes a, a um, product guide because it's a back a product guide and it has all the products. And so um, some people, they're looking for like a shampoo and, and there's just too much to cover in the introductory, introductory class. Um, but then now they have something to take home, look at it, and they like what you've told them so they can look at and find new things. And in the front, there are all these great ideas with DIYs and um, you know articles that they could read about essential oils. So two banks for fuck. Um, we have a. We always put a. Um, a this bookmark. bookmark. So this is a main conversion bookmark. If people are looking up uh, like essential oil names in the modern essentials book, for instance, they use the generic terms for for those. And so sometimes they need to reference, you know, what the calming blend is, for instance. They can look it up on the bookmark and, and find that. Did you guys know where to find the bookmark? <laughs> yep, on your side. Yep. Yeah. So just download a bunch and you can cut it out. If you like to laminate, if you like to laminate, it's easy. Um, that's a, one thing that will be very helpful and it will just um, prevent lots of problems and questions. So if people text you and ask you about invigorating blend, what is this? Uh, you know, you think, oh, okay, it's all there. It's on the bookmark and then they can reference and there. They don't need to keep texting you. Okay. The idea of the bookmark. Um, there's a lot of things you can put in here. You yep. put samples. There's a sample toothpaste. There's, there's the samples that are available is sample toothpaste, sample deep blue, sample shampoo. You can also get sample essential oils as, as you Yeah, if you for wish. $25, I think it's $25 for a class in a box. If you put uh, order that, um, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, you get um, 10 of the um, class in the box uh, brochures. Like I said, the uh, thing that you teach out of, which is shown, and um, the uh, price list and um, enrollment kits and enrollment forms. So mm -hmm. All of that comes there, and then you get 10 magazines mm -hmm. and you get 10 wild orange five mil oils. So that's yeah. three dollars. Uh, yeah, so all of that together, if you're just throwing that into for a, a gift bag, five mil wild orange, not it's like to mention the other things that are a gift for that people. Well. You used yeah. to have DVDs, but people don't really do no, that. No, they don't have DVDs. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's the idea. So you get your bags packed. Uh, we have a pencil case, we have a modern essential book. And then yeah, it's really good to have a, a guide and yep. use the modern essential one. So you don't have to feel um, and enrollment like you have, you know forms. Everything. If you go to a class and you don't have an enrollment form, um, yep. you probably didn't really intend for anybody to join. <laughs> but print out your enrollment forms. If you go to doTERRA.com and just uh, search for class in the box, um, then that will, you know, you can find the class in the box and. Um, print that out and that's what we do it's nice to just print out the most updated one um, so so can we share this with you really and so the, uh, yep so I'll share that with you um, those. <clears throat> okay so just say um, class in the box and a box I guess <laughs> That's a box or the box, I'm not sure. Class in a box. Yeah. So there it is, $25. 20 class invitations, 10 bottles of 5 mil wild orange. That alone is worth the purchase. Because that means these things are $2.50. Yeah, all that is piece. $25. Right. Is that US? Yes. That is US. Yeah, so I have, yeah. It's about I've 30. Seen, yeah, a yep. similar one too. So it's roughly the same price after yeah. the exchange. Um, you get the magazines, uh, one product guide, but like I said, all the magazines have a product guide in the back. Yeah. You get a living, sharing, and building um, brochures, um, you, you know, use them if you use want. Um, ten class in the box brochures, so that has your outline, your product list, your enrollment, flyer, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I don't know if you saw in here the class in the box, but, oh no, that's a product as well. Um, let me let me take you to brochures and yeah, the flyers. That's not it. Nope. Nope, that's not it. Let me. To I'll, I'll show. Advocates. Yeah. yeah. And then you go to brochures under advocate brochures. Um, there's a class in the box right there. 
it's good. You know, we just download and print off several. And so this has the intro class um, outline. So if you um, hand this out to everybody, they have what are essential oils, why doTERRA, how do we use essential any oils. Any new person so can teach It's basically that. the same thing that, you know, always you, you would cover in a first class, right? Um, there are a few differences and you can just... We also have the... Um, this is the wholesale product list. <laughs> I'm hitting you, Stacey. Um, we have the wholesale product list with all the, pr the prices on it. Um, so that's always handy because, you know, sometimes you're, you're talking about all these oils, but someone is interested in something else. You look it up or they look it up and they find an oil and they're like, how much is that? So now they can answer their own question and look it up. And, and sometimes they'll just use this as a, a wish list. Um, and then there's the enrollment kits, up to date if you've downloaded it and printed it out. These do change from time to time. So. Oh, Americans have got some cool stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes you can just enroll from the American side, depending on what um, people want. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So uh, in Australia, you have the option to do it, America or Australia. Mm -hmm. In the US, we only have one option to do it from the US. <laughs> it's good. They have the wholesale customer form. I tell people, I, I'm not shy about this. I'm like, if you want to become a wholesale customer, fill in this green form. And then the other one is, if you want to be a wellness advocate and do this as a business, even if it's a part-time business, fill in the purple form. Yeah. The only difference, the easiest yeah. way to explain it is, the only difference is that if you ever refer someone and want to get paid a referral fee, you want to be a wellness advocate, not a wholesale mm -hmm. customer. That's the only difference. And just let them choose because mm -hmm. they can always upgrade or yep. downgrade or yep. regrade or migrate. I used to have the Australian um, class in the box. It's actually called the Empower Kit um, of this, but they don't really have it to download anymore. Uh -oh. um, so. so the class in a box, you don't order from your shop because I just tried now. You can't do that. Yeah. Yeah, you can order from the shop. Because I just searched for class in a box and it said no. Uh, in Australia, you can actually. It's, but um, maybe they've changed it lately. Hmm. Ah, this is not liking me. Sales tools, let's have a look at that. Okay, so this is not the right thing. No, that's not what we want. Okay, so this is an Australian. Um, so just in Power Kit. Oh, okay, so it's not called Class in the Box. No, it's not. What about sales tools? Go to sales tools, maybe. Yeah, I just looked at that. There's nothing in there either. It used to be there. Yeah, because I've bought it before. Yeah. Yep. That's funny. There, yeah, class, class in a box. box. Oh, okay. Winter oh, wait, 2017. Are we on? No, the this US? is Aussie. This is Aussie. This is Aussie. Oh, wow. Uh huh. So there you go. It's still $25. So $25. That's good. Is it all the same stuff? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Oh, I'll have to get that again. Yeah. Because it's got more things than I've seen before. I've never had the brochures. Yeah. The books. Okay. Oh, class in the box. So you have to say US class in the box. Class in the box, won't you? Right. Yeah. That's good. Now we good. know. Okay. Where is my um, option to use US or? Australia. Australia. No, you can't. Okay. That's funny. Okay, well we're gonna we're gonna go out of there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. Right. Um, just a few more things to put in your 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 um kit, your thing to for a class. Thanks. Make oils. sure you bring your products. So some essential oils. Mm -hmm. I've actually gone to teach a um, pro class and ha did not have any oils with me, and it was just talking and shuffling paper. And so you think that would be obvious, but you know if you have a tick. If you have a checklist, this is what you need um, for your intro class. There is, there is actually a checklist on, mm -hmm. on our handout there. Yeah. Um, okay.
that's 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 it it's pretty pretty yeah. simple mm -hmm. um you you i mean some extra things you might want to bring a diffuser because when you go through the the different um aromatic and everything if you're going to a place um that you know is not someone's home you might bring some glasses glass glasses so that you can give everybody a drink mm -hmm. of water and everything um you know just give everybody a, a be able to use it aromatically topically and internally mm -hmm. um, what do you think about paper cups for that instead of bringing glass cups could you use paper cups i don't know if they're lined on the inside with anything yeah mm -hmm. um you know how they have those um mason jars yeah those are pretty sturdy and they're quite inexpensive so that's what we've been using at um you know the conference room that we've teacher you, okay. yeah you know yeah. what if that's how you got paper yeah. cups are better than nothing yeah. um, and, and they're good they're disposable but um, most most of the time we're putting yeah because we're trying to teach them to and the lemon glass. the lemon does yeah. um, break down the, the plastic and so yeah. mm -hmm. ikea has a perfect size it's just it's quite a small one very plain it's perfect. I love it. So I've got a stack of them packed all the time. That's my doTERRA glasses. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a difficult when you have to carry too much. I would um, delegate a little bit to, if I can say, you know, you bring this, you bring this, and I'll bring the rest of the stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, if you're teaching class with someone. So that's the first one. Mm -hmm. Pack bags and print materials just means, uh, you know. Yeah. We, we, typically print out the um enrollment kits and everything um, mm -hmm. unless you're unless you have an empower kit or, mm -hmm. or sorry class in the box yeah i guess it's not called the empower oh, kit no. anymore. so yep. there you go okay guys um any questions on that pretty simple but sometimes people forget as a leader make sure that the, your people who are interested in doing the business start there too so they're, they're ready because uh, you know they get nervous and they don't know what to do because like yeah i want to share the oils and then just think about sharing normally like with their mouth and that's it and just maybe putting an oil in people's hands but there's a little bit more than that too if you're ready to go um it's so much easier okay Alrighty. so number two is make flyers and incentive gifts uh, we talked about this a little bit last week, but if you can make a flyer, you know, two to three months out, uh, it's more likely that you'll get people to come to your class. Don't do it the other way. Don't do it, wait, uh, you know, until some people are excited and let's see what day is good for everyone. That doesn't work. Okay, it's sort of like, I have a birthday on this day, but I'll just watch, ask around and ask people if they're available. You know, you just pick a date. You have that party. Who can, whoever comes, can come. And um, it's sort of this is your business. You make, you make the call. You decide, and then people will come. If they can't make it, they have to rearrange, or you have to meet some another time. But um, yeah, if we do that, it's more likely that um, things will will pick up. So maybe the first time nobody comes, the second time maybe one or two, but at least you're consistent, and people rely on that. Uh, we have people that don't need it, don't need it. Thanks for the invite a couple of months later. Hey, JD, you still doing those classes? Because I've got a question. I've got this problem that the doctor couldn't fix and I really need some help now. And it's like, yes, I always do that class. And so it's, it's really good to be consistent that way. <clears throat> but uh, again, I feel like that's one of the secrets of our success because even if we go to a new town, we just make a flyer, find a location to host the class and make the flyer and then... Um, just uh, fill it up. It starts filling up because we act as if that's our usual thing that we do. This is our business. And that's really a business. Um, if any business you have, you know, if you do something, and when it comes to marketing, if you have a consistent message, you know, you, maybe you advertise in the same place, place in the newspaper, people get used to seeing it. And then once they get used to seeing it, they, they say it takes like, um, six you know, months. six to eight weeks to for a message to start um, sinking in. So, uh, and also reliable, you know, if you're doing it at the same time every week, same time, same place every week, um, people know where to go. And they, they've seen your flyer, have, feel a little bit interest, but not, it's not in the right time for their, yeah. in their life. 
but it's like it's like opening a shop and changing the hours every day if you were inconsistent you know some weeks you're on some weeks you're off you know it's just not reliable yeah and i think with the flyers what you do is you circulate it so you carry it with you um you ask around if people have bulletin boards if they have online um posts uh, like group posts that they they would like to do so we have communities here gated communities and people tell me oh, do you want me to post it on my community bulletin board because that then people know what's happening in town and you know i'm more than appreciative of that so that's how we can get a few people. But if you, people have a few to carry around and pass along, um, that's another way too. So people will tell, you know, other friends that they're doing oils. They may want to share, but they don't have anything to um, share with. They have the oils, but then it's like come to these classes and it's just too much to explain and, you know. So a fly in your purse all the time is just handy. Yeah, and you never know when you have that conversation, you say, hey, by the way, here's a flyer, come to this class at my house. And don't get discouraged. Um, it's just the small and simple things. You know, one or two people enroll every few weeks. It will build, it will build, and it will build. And, you know, that's how we do the business. I am not as aggressive as other people, and I take my hat off to them because I think that, you know, that's, you know, that's the way they do it, and that's great. Um, but I, I would just be always consistent and, you know, I, I still made it to diamond. So um, I'm thinking that, you know, that's the best way to do it. Just kind of keep going. If you can be more out there, that's great. But yeah. Any questions, comments on that? Oh, awesome. Alrighty. So the other thing is the to-do list. Um, so like a boss, somebody will, you come in and the boss says, hey, you've got to do this, this, this today. It's good because somebody's telling you to do it. But when you're your own boss, you need to make that list. And, you know, you get to the point where that list gets really big. Um, so what we do is we pick the first four things that is the most important. And some of them might not be urgent. So that means that this is going to work, work towards building this bigger role. Um, bigger rank or whatever is a bigger goal but it's something to working towards that big goal there's some things that are urgent you have to do today you've got to pay certain bills you have to call certain people that's fine but then there's something that you have to work on that um, will help you know gather up that momentum that slight edge uh, to help you build your business so um, you want to add something to that no, I mean, that's just, uh, that also goes along with, um, you know, time management mm -hmm. and stuff. So, yeah. But I, I just feel like a lot of people, when I, I, I talk to them, I realize that they don't do that. They keep it all in their head. And I say, do you have a list? Do you have a list of friends you want to invite? Yeah, it's in my head. Or do you have a list of um, people that you've enrolled that you need to follow up with? Yeah, you know, and I think, no, you're going to have hundreds of people so you're not going to be able to maintain that in my head, um, you know, practice. You really have to pretend that you are a diamond with hundreds of people joining every month. So you have to have a system that, you know, help meet people's needs. So we have those online um, uh, automated emails. That's great. Uh, you know, as soon as we can, we put them on, we contact them. But I always like to do any, something personal. You know, come, let's have lunch together. Come over to my house. I'll come over to your house, something. Because it's so much better to, to keep a member that's already existing. Oh, to have that <laughs> oh. <laughs> yep, does that make sense, everybody? Yep, okay. Um, so if your team, um, if there's members, you have to sort of, hear them out a little bit and then you'll figure out if they get so overwhelmed you kind of ask them questions like hey do you make lists um and then if you don't finish your list just move that next few things to the next day that's okay but to, you know this list just keeps going but then you feel like you've accomplished things so when people leave it all in their heads and they don't have anywhere that they put things down um then they get overwhelmed and they can give up really easily so you you can see your the the team members that are really growing and building they've got a system down okay the people that are not growing and they're all over the place they're not going to last okay so just be aware of that and really help people get 
some things down that's consistent that they follow. So when I have um, my mentoring people, I just tell people just have a doTERRA hour every day. So if they don't put in at least five hours of doTERRA, then I really can't mentor them because it's gonna be, it, not, there's not gonna be a lot of change or success that we will see, right? It needs to be at least an hour a day. And then after a couple of months, when they're so used to that doTERRA hour, I get them to break it down that hour and you know label it as support time um, prospect time um, mentoring time or whatever it is because then now they're very specific they're so used to that time but now that you know they're more productive during that time okay any questions comments before we move on no okay honey good all right number four work on beliefs so no matter where you are in your doTERRA continuum, um, you're gonna have new, um, I guess, walls that you hit because you've made some progress and then suddenly uh, there's something that seemingly is trying to stop you from reaching the next rank or reaching the next thing. And you think, okay, I did really well at first at this and then it's like, this is not happening as well as I used to anymore. So that's when you hit a roof or a wall and you need to look at what your belief system is and need to change that and that's a very mature thing to do um, and it's hard so I'll give you an example uh, one lady she's signing up a couple of friends is so excited and then she, you know we're talking to her and she's no longer holding classes or she's not meeting people because I mean you happen to meet a few people you happen to talk to them they happen to join that's great but like we said she doesn't do something consistently so there's a belief um, failure there so she doesn't believe that this business if I put in four or five you know months of really hardcore work that it's gonna start bringing in this beautiful income for me um, you know, so here she is finding this excuse and that excuse and this excuse to, to not consistently meet anymore or talk and just uh, whenever we talk, it's always their fault, this person's fault, this happened in my life. And then we say, well, why don't you set up classes, weekly classes? And then the first excuse was, well, my house is not big enough. Oh, I don't have room in my house. And, you know, that tells us she has a belief problem because we always can find a place to meet. We have restaurants, we have, you know, lots of places. And one of the Blue Diamonds a couple of years ago, she was on stage and she said that she had lost everything. She had a big home, she had everything. And then she lost everything and she was in a caravan, in a trailer park. And her sister asked her to do doTERRA and she was thinking, no way, I can't do this. And then she stopped and she said, I will figure it out. And then she was Blue Diamond, she was telling us that story because it's like, no, I'm not going to let my, my fear or my false beliefs get in the way. Okay, and she figured it out. And so when people tell us things like they're that person, no one's listening, no one wants to hear me, you know, no place to teach classes, my kids, my family, my husband, it's a belief it's concern. So we can't change their beliefs. We just have to encourage them to face that and ask themselves what is it that they don't believe, they don't believe they can succeed or whatever it is, and really try to overcome it. Sometimes I'm like, feel the fear and do it anyways, and you'll find that it wasn't as hard as you expected. Yeah, any questions, comments about that? Yeah, I can tell you that as a mentor, it's, gonna, it's so interesting because I see people's potential, and sometimes I point out their belief, uh, concern, and you know, um, two of our teammates are doing Diamond Club now, at first, my friend was like saying, oh, you know what, I was trying to do 10 enrollments a month and it was, you know, it was like a lot of work. And last month, she was, on, she was 18, 19 enrollments and she's like, I can do this, Jade, I can do this. Because it was just a little push and a you know, little realization that we need to believe in a different way. Okay, get rid of some of this false belief, you can do this. And it was amazing. And the other girl was like 23 enrollments and she's like, yeah, and I have a couple more to go, but I'll save it for next month. And I just think this is amazing. Um, just a little nudge and just uh, somebody you know, giving you a little bit of confidence. Um, yeah. All right, you just surprised. Like I think Lucy, um, you know, as busy as you were, sometimes things happen 
and you have to roll with the punches, right? And it just happened. So that weekend, two weeks, it was it two weekends ago, right? Oh, wait a minute, let's, let's, I'm ready. go ahead. Do you mean for getting the class ready for Saturday? Yeah. 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 <laughs> never, never a convenient time, right? You... No. <laughs> but I was so glad, so glad, because I feel like it's just really kick-started me. I really needed that to, <laughs> to push me. And they came, and I would have had more people if, like, that was not much notice. But if I had more notice, I would have had more exactly. there. And you yeah. feel like, oh, I could have done better. <laughs> That's right. Like, it was perfect. It was perfect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. So we, we yeah, It forced ourselves. me to open my mouth where I probably wouldn't have, so I'm glad. That's it. We surprised ourselves. So we, we put our class on the flyer and then we just fly with it. We think, oh, what are we teaching this week? Okay, we're going to get ready. So those people that have websites, um, what we do is if you make a list of classes you're going to teach for the next three months, um, you know, whatever happens that week, at the beginning of the week, you can prep for it by doing a blog or a post and then you can you know do that on your website and then repurpose it on your facebook and then you know you're already prepared for your class so if people come to your class great here's all the information if people can't come you say hey here's a link here's my website i've already written something about that so you know it, it's going to help you create content too so you organize that way and um then people respect you with because you know, you're consistent. Yep, and then it's it's you're not really doubling up. You've got you know the the same content throughout the week that you're working on. Any questions, comments? No. Anyone? Okay, awesome. All right, number five. Um, just like Stacy was saying, you know, use the products and then just share share it. So you develop testimonials of the products, and um, if you haven't used a product before, uh, I, I know a lot of you guys are buying stuff that you haven't used before and just trying it out. And that's a great idea because then you know what to share with people and um, you just make a mental note of your experience so that you can share with people. Um, there's a few people that use things and then they don't remember and they don't make any mental notes. And so it doesn't, they can't convey and communicate their experience with other people. And then we miss out on a, a wonderful opportunity to share that way. Okay. So I'm, I'm really glad anybody, you know, is there anyone that um, has, uh, you know, still some products that they, they haven't really, to, uh, besides Mindy, because she's new, she just joined two weeks ago or last week. Um, most of you have been in for a while. Is there any products that you haven't tried yet? Yeah, the washing. Washing clothes, wash. I haven't used those. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I haven't ordered them from America. <laughs> yeah, I bet Desiree, you've used everything. <laughs> yeah, I've pretty much used everything. I'm thinking the only thing that I haven't used would be the new um, Slim and Sassy protein shake powder. Okay, the orange. Mm hmm. Yep. Mm hmm. Oh, that's awesome. And Stacy is semi new. <laughs> um, I I'm work. I have a list that I work through, and then sometimes it's like the things that I want to try and that we want to use in our family. Mm -hmm. And then every month, like I have it at the beginning of the month, and we order. But it seems like we always go, oh no, we need this one more. Let's put that one on next month. We'll just so we've been working through a list since I joined, like in October. And so we don't have all the oils yet, but we like use them so much that I'm already having to reorder a few <laughs> that we use a lot. But, yeah. um, but then like I got the specials that they had last week. I mean like a few of them, like the buy piece, get the cheer free and yep. things like that. Um, and then this month they have like the hand, like I was wanting to get that anyway. So they have the, you get the, Soap and you get two pumps free and I was like should I get one or two <laughs> because we have like bathrooms and I was like well I'll just get one and the next month I'll get another one because I want to try more oils that we need so we're always picking and choosing because we still have needs that we want to use the other oils for. Uh -huh. especially like when I get in the class then I'm like oh 
we need that one next month. Scratch that out. We need this one next month. So, yeah, we haven't had all of them yet, but we every month we get some them, and we try. We all try them and smell them and see what we think of them, and then make a plan for the next month. People start adding. Can you can you get something for that? So. We're almost done our list, though. We only have like 20 left. And <laughs> <laughs> you did what we did, the, the six-month shopping list. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, guys. Well done. Um, and then you get to a point where um, you're going to get extras of the things you use more. I have a sister that she has to have three of everything. So if she's down to two, she's like, oh, I've got to order that next. Because you never know, you know, if one month you know, somebody's not well, it's like you go through it pretty quickly. Yeah, and they both want, um, two of them both want cheer, two of them both want orange. We all like have to share, like at night, well, I got the special that had the extra lavender because we all go like lavender, lavender. So there's some of them that we need a lot more of and they're like, does she, does she have the cheer? I was looking for cheer. Where's the cheer? I'm like, I don't know, go look, you know, maybe it's in the kitchen or something. So yeah. <laughs> We're, we figured we need to get a shelf. We're going to organize them and then we're going to have extras like, here's your own. And <laughs> who's in? Don't ask to borrow someone else's. So, yeah. That's awesome. Yep. That's great. So, that's uh, what we want to share with people is just develop testimonials and just be aware of your experiences so you can share it with people. Okay. Sometimes it's so subtle that, oh, this, this headache went away and so subtle and forget. But and just sometimes until we ask, you know, how was your headache? Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know when it went away. <laughs> Just, oh, I didn't notice. You know, that's that's what happens sometimes. Okay. Um, number six is have a delegated workspace. Okay. So you have your home office. Um, you know, if you don't have a home office, you have a home office corner <laughs> or if it's a closet so that you get into that work mode and um, you, you have a place that because you're actually helping yourself feel like this is official. I'm setting up shop. Yeah. Okay. And that's pretty simple, right? Yeah. Okay. So especially for moms, you can have the kids write a little sign that says mommy is at work. And so, you know, hang it on the door and you know, you can be MIA for a half an hour or something until this alarm goes off and then you can, uh, you know, somehow you have to work it out. But I've seen a lot of women do that. They're in the corner of the nursery and they're in their house or whatever it is, and they, they do it. They get it done. In the closet. In the closet. We have a, cl a person in the closet too. That's <laughs> so. the only place they have in their house. Uh -huh, so. That's quiet. It's just got her own like, space. So she had to clear out a little corner inside. <laughs> it's cute. All righty. Uh, we have number seven, review, refocus, revise, and practice. Um, it's really important sometimes when you teach a class, it's an art form. You, you know, it's not like criticizing yourself, but it's just a healthy critique. What can I do better? You know, this hour went for three, this class went for three hours. One of my friends, her class went for six hours. And I thought, holy moly, you know, you're done after half an hour and then you have a discussion time for the last half an hour. <laughs> yes, honey. And that's it, you know, and you tell people. And so we had to work out how she can escape. So, oh, I've got an appointment. I've got to go somewhere else. You know, whatever it is, you can't just sit there and answer all the questions. And at the end of it, we didn't have a lot of enrollments because people were tired. We, they were just overwhelmed with all that information because they ask questions, but you have to be wise enough to say, you know what, just start there and we'll talk about that after your oils come. Or, you know, they wanted more, more information. Well, I'll, I'll send you a link. Okay, don't start explaining everything. Um, I can explain everything. I know I can, but I think, you know what? I'm not going to allow them to feel overwhelmed because at the end of the day, they're like, no, you know what? I really don't want to get into this because, well, it was just too much information. I can't do what she does. I mean, six hours, you know, that was a lot. You know, and, and so when you sit down, you review, what, what can I do different? How did I do this week? Um, that's really important skill to have. Okay. I mean, that, for a teacher, that, that was a skill that we taught every time. So that class was great. How can you do better? It, it, it's never perfect. So we have to kind of dig in there and find out how we can do better. Okay. Um, or if you put in an ad or you post something, 
if you post a, an oil info and you see that you've only got a few people that are interacting with that, okay, take note, um, you know, do another post of something similar but in a different way and see how that works. Um, inspirational thoughts, that one really gets a lot of traction. So um, kind of see where, what works and what doesn't and then start adjusting and adapting. Um, you know, that's, okay, that's the, the natural thing that, uh, you know, business owners do. But when people don't realise that they can do that, they think, okay, well, how does she do it? I'm just going to do it that way and then it should work. It, it, you know what? They, they're, they're not thinking and feeling and owning their own business. Okay. Questions, comments? Oh, all good. I could probably, like, just on that... Um, uh, your people feeling a little overwhelmed with all of those oils. Something that really stood out that worked with Philomena's class was that she just had the rack that only fits the essential kit. So it's just the essential kit in the middle of the table with the fractionated coconut oil and the moisturiser because she uses that as an example too of mixing an oil and putting it on. Yep. And, and so you were, you're talking about all these oils, oh, I must get that one. And by the end, oh, well, they're all the ones I want. They're in that kit. And then other ones, she just had her bag off to the side and it was open and she would pull out anything. And it just seemed a lot less overwhelming. Yep. I thought that worked really well. So I want to get a little stand for just an essential kit now. <laughs> that is a great idea. It really worked well. And especially being around the table too, yep. seemed a lot more interactive than someone out the front and they're all on the lounges. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So I've moved from the lounge to the dinner table, you know, just a few years ago because I feel like it's more interactive. Yeah, it's that's really good. good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's a good yeah, but That one thing that I noticed that did make a difference to some of the girls. Yeah, yep. There were some comments that, you know, yeah. And just other people that it is a bit overwhelming when you see all those oils. You know, I never know what to do with that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, awesome. Great tip. That's and as you say, you build on it later, once they've got their kit. Yeah. What else is there? <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's it. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, number eight is learning new skills. So don't be afraid to adapt and change. Um, you know, in this business, having good computer skills is very important. I'm very blessed to have Ben show me how to do stuff and, you know, putting up websites and things. But, um, you know, sometimes I feel like, oh, it's a lot of work to kind of learn this new skill. But I thought, well, eventually I'm going to have to learn it anyway. So I'm going to try. Um, so it's, it's good. And he's very encouraging. So um, the new skills is in standing up and talking to people. Um, you know, some people, have you had people tell you, oh, I'm not a good presenter? And you think, well, you're not going to be good until you practice. <laughs> you're going to try, right? I'm not going to speak in front of people. Um, same here. I wasn't either. But, uh, you know, you just put yourself out there and you learn and you're okay to make mistakes. Um, yep. Anyone else? Any other skills you can think of? Learning posts to do that aren't too yeah. simple but eye-catchy, you know? Yeah. And he just gives a couple of bullets that will grab people's attention. Yeah, yeah. You get better and better at it. And so I realized that I really like doing that stuff. At first it's like, hey, that, those pictures are pretty. How did have they, have they do that? So yeah. now it's like, oh, I can do that in five minutes. <laughs> but you get, you get better. Good, good example. All right, number nine is uh, stick with what you're good at and don't, don't jump into the next fad um, and so be who you are not. So I see sometimes people are panicky. They see other people in doTERRA doing other things and they just want to jump to that next ship and jump to the next ship. But um, sometimes if you're good at this one thing, just keep going. That's your thing. Um, mm -hmm. It's your niche. Okay, so if you're good at teaching mums, you know, teaching uh, people about babies, uh, that's great. If you're great at um, teaching other people in a certain way. So I know my friend Philomena, she likes teaching teachers. If she's good at that, great. So, um, yeah, other people do it differently. And it's, it's good, but unless you feel so inspired to do it differently, you should really stick with what you're good at and don't feel panicked like, oh, is it going to work or not? It's 
just stick with it and you'll see that it will be you'll be the the mommy um go to right so like lucy you know she loves to help moms and babies and kids you know then eventually she's going to be known as oh well, lucy's all about kids and moms and things just go talk to her she'll, she'll have the answer you see um then then that's really good so don't feel like you're missing something um, that's at first I felt like, oh, am I missing something? Because people keep telling me, do you do this? Do you do this? Do you do this? Do you have a Zyto scan? Do you do that? And I'm like, no, no. And I think, should I? Should I? And I pray about it. And then I'm like, no. You know, if I'm a teacher and I'm good at being the teacher, then I'll do that. But then other people can take what I do and do it differently. If there's another person that mixes and um, does all those lotions and potions and scrubs and things, and they're really good at that, they should do that, right? And that's their thing. Um, so I don't have to make myself do something that I'm not comfortable with or it's just not my thing. You don't have a passion for it. Um, you don't need to force it. Any, any, anyone want to comment on that? I think that goes with the products as well. If you don't, you know, when you're talking about using the products, um, you can't have a passion for them unless you use them. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't have a passion, it's kind of hard to, each other people yeah yeah so we, we had people that are silvers and they they were talking to us at one of the leadership retreats and they're like what's terrazyme do <laughs> and we were like well do you know how terrazyme does so little things like that i mean you've got to have a feel of all the products and kind of know what they do um but as far as doing the business this is your way of doing it and it's working you know stick with it and be good at it okay Yep. And number 10 is improve your presentation skills. So we sort of looked at review, refocus, revise, um, and teaching skills is an important thing. And I feel like, you know, we can have in the future more calls on teaching tips, um, you know, scanning the, the audience, looking at people. You know, I think when um, Miss uh, Stacy came into town and she attended one of my classes, we had a new person come. Right, and everyone was busy ch chatting with each other. And I went over and just did a really quick intro. I don't know if you saw that. I did a quick introductory to essential oils with that lady um, because I interviewed her, assessed her. Where are you at? Have you used oils? Has anybody told you about this and this and this? No, no, no. And then I'm like, well, okay, we'll get oils in your, your, your hand right now. So she's drinking, smelling, and done. And, you know, we've prepped them because sometimes we have all of these, you know, veterans, oil veterans, and, and here's this brand new person being lost. But, um, yeah, we could, I can uh, definitely share that. But that, that's a very important skill to develop. And I, I'm, I'm still learning. So, yeah. Okay. So that's our top 10 best business tips just to get people started. Um, anyone want to comment or question, ask any questions? Nice. We have other people. Okay, we have Debbie there. <laughs> I was just thinking about um, the classes. It's really important to focus on the needs of who's there. Sometimes we get wrapped up in our own agenda and we need to really pay attention. You probably have already said this tonight, but uh, that's one thing that I really learned is to really like pay attention to what the needs are of who's at your class. That's exactly right. I think that was last week. We mentioned that we talked about that a lot. It's um, just knowing who your audience is and then really being connected to them. Then, you know, as soon as you can connect to them, but by assessing them, talking to them, interviewing them, you'll know their needs and you will meet everything that they need and um, satisfy them basically. Yeah, with whatever you have so that's a skill to develop so very good um we started a little bit late because uh, we're waiting on me to come home <laughs> just got home from a ball <laughs> um but uh, we have a few new people on here do you mind if we spend five minutes just telling you a little bit about the the first two ways of earning money yeah okay. yep Okay, so we're going to share this with you. This is on the website. Um, let's see. Yeah. Okay. So this here, Business Basics, you can download it and print it out on um, jbolden.com. 
Uh, so you earn money in five different ways in doTERRA. Um, the retail sales uh, is just 25%. So if you um, have a friend that just wants to use one or two oils, go ahead, share that uh, oil, buy it on your order, and then sell it to them at retail. And you can have cash in hand right away. And uh, it'll help you um, create interest. So you don't want people to, some people just wait to sell a membership, right? And they don't um, allow people to just pick an oil or two to buy uh, just to try because sometimes people don't want to commit and that's fine. Open yourself up for, to that option, okay? And that's why if you can get extra uh, as your inventory, as your, you know, met, I guess essential oil storage, um, that's great because then people want something here and now. And so you can give that to them, sell it to them. You have a little bit of cash in hand, but then that allows people to experience oils and then they can come back and you can follow up with them. So it'll bring you to the next stage in their doTERRA development. Okay. Any questions on retail sales? The other thing too, I think Mindy, if you're still here, um, they have, you have a website that people can buy from and those people who have um, websites of your own, you can have a link to the oils to buy here or save 25% so people can buy on your website. And then doTERRA pays you once a month when they pay you the unit level. Okay, so that's um, the 25% uh, markup. Okay, so the fast start is the thing that you, sh you can be focused on right now because um, that will be the most relevant for the new people. Um, so if you enroll somebody and you are the enroller, it's paid to the enroller, you get 20% okay, of um, what they buy. All right, and your enroller gets 10. Can you see that there? Yep. So you're the red and your enroller gets 10 and the person that enrolled your enroller gets five. So the idea is that we work together as a group to help that new person, support that new person. Okay. And um, again, if that new person enrolls somebody, then you will get, uh, they will get 20%, you will get 10, and your enroller will get five. That's what Fast Start is about. And this is for 60 days. And this is why it's very important for people to get onto like the automated email series. Do you know about that, guys? Yeah? Mm -hmm. so that gives them emails every two days, just a little snippet of, did you know you can get the roller bottles from this website? Or, you know, little things like that, you know, new members need to know. And that way you don't have to remember to tell them everything. Sometimes some new members, you, you forget to say one thing, another new member, you forget to say another thing. This way you're more thorough. Um, and uh, yeah, so the idea is to get them to be trained and um, well versed in the oils in the first 60 days. Because once they they understand it, you know, they'll be hooked like we are, <laughs> right? Because it's so good. Um, and uh, they'll see major changes in their lives that uh, is a significant. All right, that's all I want to say about that. Anyone want to say anything? Okay, and this will be paid to you weekly. So if you have uh, an enrollment every week, you'll be paid every week. And that's kind of nice when people um, have some financial struggles and they're not sure if they can buy 100 PV every month. Um, they will you know, be able to accumulate all of them, their commissions and then pay, use a commission to pay for their oils, for their order. And by the way, to qualify for commission, you need to have 100 um, PV LRP to qualify. Okay, so, you know, I have some really clever people that I've met. They only paid for their very first order and they just kept on enrolling and enrolling people. And um, then, you know, one lady, she never had to pay again. So that was awesome. And it's been two years. So, yeah. Okay, so we, this is the only one I'm gonna talk about and then we will be done for tonight. It's called The Power of Three. And um, only a few companies really uh, pay and incentivize people to organize, but you get paid for organizing your team. So start organizing um, teams of three. So do you want to say anything about this, honey? Do you want to add to it? Yeah, well, um, mm -hmm. it's just right here. So you get a $50 bonus if you 
have an LRP of 100 PV or more, and three people directly under you, that's on level one, have an LRP of 100 PV or more, and this has to be in a single order. Um, this is different from qualifying for commission. To get commission, you have to have 100 PV in that month, but this uh, has to be in a single order. And then you and everybody on your front line, if you add up all the PV together, it has to be at least 600 PV. So um, it's good if you have a, a fourth person or fifth person on mm -hmm. the front line, because that um, helps you get that team volume as well. Um, so that's how you qualify the, for the 50. And then to get the 250, you just help the three, three people under you get that. Yeah. And then uh, they can do another level under that. So that's, that's really all that there is to it. Yep, that's it. So uh, we'll leave that there. There's other tips and things that you can read about, and we can talk about this at another time. But um, I just thought that sometimes it's it's very it's important for people to review that, yeah, because we did that last night in my the local class, and everyone was like, oh yeah, okay, I'm glad you covered that because I had some questions now. As you start enrolling people, um, you know, you, it can more it solidifies in your mind what that really looks like. Yep. All right, we're done for tonight, guys. Thank you for joining us and yes. sharing. Yep, so we'll yeah. end our recording now. Okay.